Welcome to the world market. We are located somewhere, uh, here. You see that big white spot? Well, that's me. I was along for the ride while we visited the world market. As I was asked, I took many pictures and got jiggled around like a rag doll. It's not easy being a cell phone, but enough about me. So I traveled with Dylan, Spencer, and Lydia, and the very first thing that I noticed was this huge chicken. If they got that big from eating those huge grapes, I'm sure we could solve all sorts of hunger issues. The paintings were interesting, however there was much more to do and see at the world market. Like, these wonderful paper lanterns. There were many many things for sale and so many people trying to find what they want amongst the crowd. There were all sorts of things crammed into corners like these decorations. What's that? Oh, just because I had to be sideways doesn't mean you want to crane your neck? Well then... Is that better? Although I was busy taking in the surroundings, the gang was much more interested in eating and sitting down a while, so... They found Andy's garage! Lydia quite possibly had the most exciting meal delivered in a vehicle all its own! While scarfing down the hot dogs and sandwiches, we were subject to cartoons of old on Boomerang, where Speed Buggy decided to entertain our minds with questions of who would have ever watched it. After the meal, we departed from Andy's garage satisfied. Don't Spencer and Lydia look just so very excited? Soon the few of us encountered what seemed to be the last remaining boxes of a quisp on the planet. We were certain that they were survivors of the late 1970s and the golden days of the cereal. Spencer almost bought the box, however these relics were a bit pricey for the forgotten artifacts. Right next to Lydia's toes we found the moon landing. Apparently it was staged, but not in Hollywood. Rather it happened here in Minnesota. Who would have thought? I am rather disappointed that I didn't film the shower, but just before this photo was taken, Lydia was doing a great interpretive dance of her time at the world market. She won a lot of applause, however, Spencer missed it. Poor guy had wandered away. Although it seems rather vacant, this place was hustling and bustling with business. This was something that caught not only my eye, but Dylan's too. Who would have known that there were people who had floating heads or babies that had phantom midsections with their torsos floating above their legs or even water fountains that splashed against your face? Just something to think about. Luckily, we did manage to find Spencer. It would seem he was making all sorts of fantastic friends. I could tell in Dylan's voice that it was hard for him to tell Spencer that the chap next to him wasn't real. Finally, we all got together with all the things that we had purchased, and I took this lovely photo of our two companions. Don't they just look sweet? Not long after, we got back with the class that we arrived with and shoved off, but I am sure that these two at least won't forget the world market.